What's happening guys, it's Shane here. So this is one of the videos I've gotten a ton of requests to do. And if you appreciate me doing these sorts of videos, then go ahead and just drop a like on this because it really does help with the YouTube algorithm and I truly appreciate it. This is how you smash a like button. Are you serious already? Thank you so much. But with that being said, I generally think that getting a business degree is a good idea and I have a lot of people in the comments that disagree with me. And this is despite the fact that business degrees create the most millionaires by a mile compared to any other type of degree and it also has some of the best statistics in terms of job openings as well as pay. So this video is going to be all about the high paying business careers that you can go into with a business degree and then after that I'm going to go into the pros and cons of getting a business degree. So first of all, let's talk about the five different types types of business careers that you can get into. And starting off, we're going to go into management, business operations, financial specialists, sales, and then ones that don't fall under any category and therefore we're just going to call them other. So when it comes to business operations, what we're going to be talking about in this sort of career is just running day-to-day -day operations of a business such as purchasing supplies or managing employee benefits. Find me to raise that allowance. And three examples of jobs that would fall under this category would be claims adjusters, logisticians, and then management analysts. The next one on the list is going to be financial specialists. And these careers are going to be all about either keeping track, managing, or investing other people's money. Now, of course, you're going to have accountants on this list, but you're also going to have financial advisors, financial analysts, and also financial examiners. Now, the next one on the list is going to be management, and this one is a little bit self-explanatory, but you're going to oversee other people who are working within a business. Generally, you're going to need to have some experience either with management or in the business itself in order to move into a position like this. Now, a few examples of this one are going to be chief executives, computer and information systems managers, and then financial managers. Now the next one on the list is going to be sales specialists and this one is kind of interesting because a lot of the time the entry level positions don't pay very well but you can also work your way up to a position that does pay extremely well. So a few examples of really high paying careers in this one are going to be first line supervisors of sales agents, sales engineers, and then basically securities, commodities, and financial service sales agents. Now the next category on the list is going to be other which is basically ones that don't fit into any of the other categories and you're going to notice here that a lot of them are related to math. Math, 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 math. Some examples of these are going to be actuaries, economists, and statisticians. Now which field you go into is going to vary depending on your skills and what your interests are. So for instance, if you're really into logistics and you know making sure like Amazon that a package gets from point A to point B at the right time. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. 50 seconds. Then maybe you should go into business operations. What a great idea. If you're really good at math, maybe you consider going into some of the other careers like statistician, for instance. If you're into investing or that sort of thing, you probably want to go into the financial services. Selling is extremely fun for some people, so you'd probably want to go into sales if that's true for you. And then management is definitely the highest paying out of all of these, and it's very rewarding, but it's also very difficult because you have to work long hours and you have to manage other people. Oh, I think I can manage that. Now, if you're somebody who wants to become an entrepreneur in the future, I recommend probably starting off with sales because you can do that even from a young age and then as you move up and go through the ranks after you've gotten your degree you can kind of move into more management positions because you're going to learn a skill called leadership which is one of the most important things that you can know if you're going to start your own business. So addressing the pros and cons of a business degree the first thing you want to talk about when it comes to getting this degree is that it's extremely versatile. You can go into any number of of industries and all of them are going to be in need of people who are good at business and have these skills. Another thing about getting a business degree is let's be honest here it's not as difficult as getting you know an engineering degree or a computer science degree or something that's extremely heavy in math. So if you're somebody who is more street smart and you're not really a book person this is probably a good degree for you to go into. Another great thing about getting a business degree is it's extremely good training for maybe potentially opening up your own business in the future or potentially starting to invest. Now on the flip side, the biggest con of getting a business degree is there are a lot of business related careers where you don't actually have to have a business degree in order to get a job. 
And because of that, the barrier to entry is a lot lower. For instance, a business owner friend of mine told me that he loves hiring engineers and stealing them away from the engineering world because he thinks they make really good workers. But still, this doesn't change the fact that most of the people in the business world did get a business degree, and it does help when it comes to getting a job. Now, some business degrees are much better than others, and I'll probably end up doing a video on that in the future because I have gotten some requests for it. And overall, it's pretty competitive, and you're probably better off if you're kind of an outgoing person who has really good communication skills, but there's not a need for you to have that. There's some jobs where you don't have to be that good of a communicator. But overall, I'll make sure you watch my videos right here. Make sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the little notification bell, and then comment down below any thoughts or ideas you have on this video. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.